All right, going to do a little short video here showing how to take the clutch fan off a of LS engine. As many of you probably have found out that's looking for this video. When you put a wrench on that, it just wants to spin the whole thing. So, <clears throat> What you have to do is find a way to hold this water pump fully still. I've already taken this off and of course this won't be what it looks like in the engine bay because you'll still have your fan and all that on there but for the video purposes it makes it easier to have the fan off so you can see a little bit better. So I've seen videos similar to this and there's a few little things I think that they leave out. That's why I'm making this one. So, got a C clamp on here. I hadn't tightened it down yet. One thing that I feel is key is not to let it rest against that area there. You really have it against the idler pulley. That way if something does break, It will be that and a lot cheaper to replace. So most people have a C clamp laying around. I'm trying to film this and do this at the same time. Decided to do this on the phone instead of digging out camera so hopefully it turns all right and not too shaky I don't have to really clamp it down too hard for this demonstration but you'll have to clamp it down hard enough to where it don't slip and what you need is either a pipe wrench or a crescent wrench adjustable wrench depending on what part of the country you're from Pretty simple here. Stick it on there. As you can see, it's turning right now. But you have to take a hammer, give it a good smack. A lot harder than that when you're actually doing it in its own tight. This thing will spin right off. So not really a how-to channel that I have here, but I figure I'll help people out a little bit. So why not make a video of it? Anyways, that's kind of my tip for getting the clutch fan off. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, share. Thanks a lot.